We have a bit of stairs. Um, so, looks like this is our apartment. So we have arrived. <laughs> the first thing that greets us is a bathroom. So basically this is what the bathroom looks like. Toilet, shower, sink. Not a lot to be seen here. Then we move to this side of the room, which is basically the rest of the room. It comes with a bed that looks like a queen bed. And then it comes with like a kitchenette, which is absolutely great because it means if you decided to be active enough to cook, you can cook. Plus, I've got all these coffee and tea things and milk, fresh milk. I definitely appreciate that for the coffee. And they also have shampoo glasses and wine glasses and cognac glasses, guys. No, this is definitely the place. Like, number nine, you guys outdid yourself. And of course, a microwave and a TV, which is absolutely great. I think that is basically what is like chairs for sitting outside. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. And then we move on to the outside. What I like about the outside is the fact that it has that spectacular view that you guys are just about to see right now. It has a spectacular view of the pond or the river. Depends on how you look at it. And then it has a bit of a view of what should be, I think like the wine estate, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see over there, there's a wine estate. And then over there is the pond. I think this is an absolutely amazing view. And you can also see the pool from down here, which is great. The estate also has a pool. And then all of the other houses and establishments that are here. Oh gosh, guys. I feel like my camera is not properly capturing what the sun looks like on the water. And it's such a shame, but it's definitely a beautiful view. And this is the rest of it. So there's another pool this side, which is absolutely great because it means, you know, there's no crowding if you want to go to the pool. Hi guys, finally I can record the video because once I decided to start recording, this gentleman decided to be on the call with his meeting and I was just like, this guy does not respect me whatsoever. But anyway, so today is officially our day one here at Pont de Val and basically our plan is to spend the better part of the afternoon doing wine tasting. <laughs> so basically being drunk. Um, so yesterday when we got here, it was already like late a bit. Um, and also it's part of the reason why I like traveling on Thursday because I just feel like if you travel on Friday Then it basically means you only have one full day, which would be a Saturday because obviously on Sunday then you check out the place is quite nice Like oh my goodness. I don't think pictures do justice to this place when you're looking at it online It literally looks like a different country altogether So online the place looks like it's very big But it's not really and I think I appreciate that because it kind of creates that nice cozy feeling that you want to get when you feel like maybe you're on a weekend away with the bay <laughs> and also the hotel is made up of singular apartments so i feel like that does create a bit of privacy unlike having one big structure of a hotel and then rooms you know around the passage and then just one passage i think dividing them into apartments actually just makes the place even a bit more my kind of style because i also want to be able to have a bit of privacy and also just to make it feel like a home away from home which is definitely something that I feel like I'm getting out of this apartment that we rented and I also like the fact that it has a balcony so amazing views of the pond is it the pond or the river I'm not even sure is it a river Mountain. apparently it's the Val River my bad <laughs> so yeah it has great views of the Val River and everything here is just magical this is definitely a place I would recommend anyway let me not get ahead of myself this is day one we're going to be taking you guys throughout our day so guys we are now headed to the breakfast place it's actually behind where we're staying somewhere there so the entire place has walkways that are going to get you to different spots including where we're going now i just need to look down because otherwise 
after I'm going to show you what it actually looks like just now. Walk into the restaurant showcases so many other places that you can actually enjoy at Pont de Val, including that bench over there, which sits right in front of the river, as well as other places that you can use to take pictures. That's where we're staying. That place is absolutely beautiful. The scenery is amazing. For me, when we arrived at the restaurant, breakfast was over, which means anyone else's little breakfast is probably gone, and we found the restaurant to be empty, so that allowed me to be able to do this video. So when you walk in, there's like this entire glass wall that allows you to be able to enjoy the scenery even while you're having breakfast. They did say that during the week they don't do outside setups, which is why we're not sitting outside, plus also the cold. But I just love this outside view here. Then when you turn around, it's not a very big restaurant, but I think it accommodates as many people as possible. So when you turn around, there's this entire side that's here with that fireplace and the event that is extremely cold in here. But currently, they actually do have the aircon on, which is amazing because obviously, temperatures. And then there's this beautiful piano set up here. I wonder if they ever play music. I want to believe sometimes they do when they have like events happening at the restaurant but otherwise i guess it just becomes like a deco item so yeah this is pretty much what the restaurant looks like so guys my first disappointing thing about pont de val which is sad because i was just feeling like we're on a good roll everything is going well which again kind of makes this video feel like now it's very important for you guys to be able to watch this kind of content so that you can get the pros and cons of any other place that i actually go to so pont de val has different areas that you can actually access which is basically the restaurant where we are then there's a picnic and winery place where we're going to be going to go into wine tasting but what was disappointing is the fact that first of all breakfast ends at 10 which i feel like uh, it should probably end at 11 and or have an all day type of breakfast because there's people on site all the time and also when you're on holiday you don't want to be like up at seven get ready go and get breakfast at like nine o'clock it just becomes like a bit of like work so on top of that Besides the fact that their breakfast ends at 10, we get here and we're like, okay, cool, so we might as well get into the lunch menu. Disappointing part about the lunch menu is the fact that it is the same as the dinner menu, which we actually kind of struggled with last night when we were trying to decide what exactly we're going to eat. Not to say that the food is not nice. The food is nice, but the variety is limited. So if you're saying the lunch menu is the same as the dinner menu, then it almost makes us feel like we basically have nothing to eat. The winery side does have a place where you can get pizza and sandwiches and pies, but again, it just all feels like lunch, snack things, which are not exactly something that you'd want to have at the beginning of the day when you're starting out, hashtag breakfast. So that's the first thing that has happened that has disappointed me here. As a result, we have decided that we are actually going to go to the Val Mall. Hopefully there's decent restaurants. Are there decent restaurants at the Val Mall? Because Val is your home area. This guy says, hey, I don't know. <laughs> hey, this guy was in the Val last week, guys. How does he not know? Besides the fact that Val is his hometown. Anyway, so we're going to go to the Val. Maybe if we Google restaurants around, we'll be able to find somewhere where we can actually go. That kind of has the same aesthetic. Also, maybe the positive thing about that is the fact that it will mean we're now exploring other places besides just Pont de Val. But yeah, that has been the disappointing factor for us. So now we're just waiting for takeaway coffee so that we can go. Another thing that you'd actually consider is the fact that the apartments that we're staying in are actually kind of like self-catering, like there's a two-plate stove there with pots and whatever. So if you're people who feel like you don't mind cooking on holiday, maybe you might consider bringing yourself some breakfast stuff, which I actually did suggest yesterday to this gentleman here. And his response was, I don't want to cook. I don't want to do this Airbnb saving thing of yours. We're just going to have breakfast everywhere all the time and just pay. And look at us now. So you owe me one sir thank you very much okay good he says <laughs> so anyway we're gonna take you on our lunch slash breakfast journey and see where we actually end up Hi guys, so we ended up at Magen Bin at the Val Mall and I just want to say I take it back 
to the people in the Val and please don't bite my head off but the Val Mall is actually a very good mall. It's pretty big, it's almost the size of what would be a typical Mall of Africa type of mall but of course it's not as big but still it has a lot of the shops that you'd expect to have. So. I also like the fact that it's not very far from Pondaval. It's literally about a 15 minutes drive, which is great if you happen to maybe want to now do your groceries here for the self-catering thing. And or if maybe you feel like there's some toiletry that you forgot, you can quickly rush here because at Pondaval, they don't have a shop for those types of things. Um, but otherwise, the breakfast here at Magenta is actually very good. Um, we have decided though that tomorrow we're going to be a bit more early so that we can take the breakfast from Pont de Val just obviously to be able to taste it so that we can get a review out of it otherwise we are going to sit down, digest and then go for wine tasting. man not to drink his beer before I'm able to take my content. But did he listen to me? No. Why? Because men are trash. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> so this is a craft beer guys that I'm going to try. Apparently it's the uh, specialty here. It's like a, I don't know what the name is called, but it's like their local brew here at Stone Haven on tap. And yeah, wish me luck because I'm not a beer person guys. So. So instead of wine tasting, we took a detour and came to Stonehaven on Val Restaurant. Guys, this place is absolutely giving. It literally has all amenities. It has an outdoor play area for kids. You get to sit on the grass in front of the river. The customer service was really great. The entertainment, the food was absolutely amazing. There's even an indoor restaurant on days where you feel like, you know what, it's cold. You don't want to be sitting outside. Hi, guys. Welcome to day two of our Pont de Val experience. Because of the condition that breakfast actually ends at 10 a.m., we have had to wake up earlier today than normal so that we can make it in time for breakfast. Like, it's literally half past eight in the morning, and it's partly why I just despise the entire idea that breakfast ends at 10, because I feel like it then removes the idea that you're on holiday. So, if Pondaval is listening or any other hotels, guys, let's make breakfast up to 11. Like, seriously. Anyway, so yesterday we were supposed to do wine tasting after lunch, but that didn't happen because we discovered a beautiful place called Stonehaven. Um, actually, Tulani knew about it because he's from the Val, but for me, it was just a new experience and it was absolutely, absolutely worth it. Stonehaven is set in front of the Val River. It's a beautiful venue. I think if you want to obviously have something like a special occasion and or a function, birthdays, weddings, parties, etc. It also has a great space for kids, like this jungle gyms and I don't know, these different bridge um, games that kids um, actually get to have at a play park. And then yesterday, they also set up a jumping castle, which I don't think is a one day thing. I think even today, which is Saturday, probably even on Sundays, they have, maybe they just don't set it up Mondays to Thursdays, which obviously makes a lot of sense. But I just felt to myself, it accommodates everyone in the family and it's definitely a place that i would recommend for you guys to check out if you happen to come to the val and or if you happen to come to pont de val itself even though there's a lot of activities to do here at pont de val you know the boat cruise the wine tasting the spa the retro ride i still do think that i appreciate the fact that there's places like stonehaven that are pretty much close to pont de val itself i mean it was like probably like a 15 minute drive from there because it's very close to where the val mall actually is so we went from the val mall yesterday to stonehaven and yeah i can't recommend it enough the service was amazing the table setting on the grass under the umbrella in front of the dam it was just absolutely exquisite anyway so we are off to breakfast at the Pontaval restaurant and i'm picky when it comes to food so i really hope the food is really nice but yeah i'll be taking you on that journey and i'll give you a review once we are done so this is the breakfast that we're having today um the avocado comes with an extra but you get this breakfast for 95 rand per plate excluding the avocado of course i think it's Quite giving for 95 rand. Um, it does look delicious, I haven't tasted it, but I hope it lives up to the expectations. So let's see. So now it's time for us to actually go to the spa. 
we have booked a back neck and shoulder massage for 45 minutes and it cost us 600 rand per person which is basically 1.2 for a couple um i think it's okay priced considering the fact that obviously it's at a hotel and sometimes the hotel prices can be a bit of a premium but i think the 600 rand is quite reasonable because if i were in town and i wanted a 60 minute full body massage i'd probably pay like 750 so i feel like it does kind of make sense although <laughs> after the breakfast i'm feeling a bit sluggish and i just wish i could tip off and sleep so i'm actually hoping to get that out of the massage and yeah let us take you to the Pont de Val Boutique Hotel Spa. done with the massages and I would definitely recommend them their spa treatment is very good I even slept through part of the treatment um, and also sorry, I'm just trying to stand up at the same time and also I loved the fact that they have a bit of a surprise head massage um, in the treatment which was a lovely surprise of course so I would definitely recommend their back neck and shoulder massage it just made me realize how long it's been since i got a spa treatment and i think that's something i need to correct because i feel like we work so hard with all the traveling that i sometimes do as well as the work that i get involved in we do get tired why is my phone falling but anyway yeah i definitely recommend Ponte Val spa it was absolutely absolutely amazing and just like that we are off to our next adventure which is probably one of the best things and or adventures that we're going to be participating in so we are doing two things at the same time we are going to go for a picnic which we basically booked for 240 per person the 240 comes with a rental of a throw as well as a blanket as well as cushions to sit on and a small table on which you can obviously place your food and drinks and also for us to participate in wine tasting which according to what i've heard is 95 rand a person which i think is quite reasonable um i just want to see what the wine tasting setup is so we're going to be picnicking while wine tasting and i think it's just an amazing way to wind down the day because today is like saturday to wind down the day what is this guy doing <laughs> to wine thank you to wind down the day so without further ado let us go everything that happens is motivation So guys, um, because us, we are typical many wine drinkers, <laughs> we decided that instead of doing the wine tasting, we're actually just going to get a bottle. The nice thing about it is when you do the wine tasting, you do it at the wine bar, which is basically the place that you guys just recently saw on the video. But if you have the picnic setup, which is what we did, we took an easy peasy picnic, which I think is actually a good package because we literally got like the bucket as well as we got bucket and then we obviously got the bottle of wine and now we are waiting for the waiter to come back with a menu which then means we are going to be able to order our lunch because obviously with wine tasting there's no lunch involved but if you want to come for the wine tasting i think it's a great activity that you can take up during the day because Pont de Val is basically an hour away from Johannesburg. so i feel like it's one of those day activities that you can actually come for even if you don't want to be booked at the location to stay for three nights the way that we did so the way the wine tasting works is you pay 95 rand per person and then you're offered three red wines um, in the class way which they do not allow you to bring the glassware onto the lawn if you're doing a picnic but they were amazing enough to borrow us sorry sir my please borrow your, your class they're amazing to borrow us um these plastic wear which is part of the rules for when you want to use the picnic area you're not allowed to use glassware for obvious reasons safety people get drunk next thing it's glass next thing you know tempers flare up and then people are you know mm. oh yes Thank you, sir. Please hold it. <laughs> okay, so with the picnic setup, you can actually um, 
have your lunch here on the lawn as well which is absolutely amazing because i just feel like here on the side of the winery and the picnic everything is just basically here you have your restaurant you have your wine bar you have your cocktail bar you have the picnic set up place it's just a very nice way to spend the day even if you're not intending on sleeping over and a moment to breathe and then also with the picnic packages what i noticed online is the fact that they have different picnic packages for different groups maximum up to 12 people whereby if you order that package in particular i think they were going for like 1.350 online if you order that package it comes with the deco so they basically use like pallets to set up your picnic and then they have like your deco classes etc etc which makes the ambience and the feel of the picnic even nicer i think it's an amazing setup for people who feel like you know what we want to do a baby shower of a small group or it's someone's birthday or we are celebrating a small graduation party without necessarily having to incur the trouble of thinking where are you going to set up the event where are you going to find deco they do it all for you here at Ponte Val. you just need to go online and check on their picnic packages and decide which one in terms of the feel because it comes with different colors and setups actually works for you and your group the 1.350 obviously does not include food guys and or drinks it's just basically the decorative setup which again like i said i just feel like it's such a great package for people who feel like they are actually coming here for the day to celebrate and it's more than just a couple because we went for the easy peasy picnic package because it's just the two of us it doesn't make sense for us to have an entire setup of deco and even now as i'm sitting on this cushion i'm thinking to myself it's actually a great package because it comes with you know cushion blanket throw the side table that you can actually use to place your food now we've received an ice bucket where we can actually put our bottle of wine while we wait for our menu and our food i definitely would recommend um, this package here it's something that i really have absolutely loved about the place and it does make up for the disappointment that happened in the morning and also just makes me still feel like this place is actually one of the best places that you can come to if you're looking for an affordable luxury travel destination um, that has all the nice glitz and glamour and fills of a nice holiday package. The picnic area is definitely a place that I would recommend even if you're coming there for a day event. Just being on the lawn in front of the Val River screams luxury, life, happiness. And it's definitely one of the places that I'd recommend if you want to do like a romantic getaway and or a honeymoon that does not span for a lot of days. Ponte Val is definitely a place that I would put on my bucket list to visit any day in South Africa. Yeah. Hi guys! So one of the things that I should actually mention about Pondeval is the fact that I absolutely love the idea of them having something like a small town here which is basically made up of all the buildings that you're seeing here. There is the wine bar, there's a cocktail bar, there's a coffee bar right there at the beginning as well as Bellflower over there which is basically the company that takes care of your picnic deco. If you decide to take one of the picnic packages that I mentioned earlier where they set up for you palettes and deco and flowers but the package of course like I mentioned does not include food and drinks which is great because while you're on your picnic you can actually order yourselves food from the restaurants that we were actually at and had our breakfast yesterday they have a wide variety of breakfast, lunch and supper not only that but they actually have a convenience store inside the restaurant which again I just felt like it literally just sums up the idea of them having like a little town and also the style and feel of the town like I had mentioned in the video earlier is sort of like a medieval sort of wants to take you back to Monte Cassino type of feel and I absolutely absolutely love it so I thought that was worth mentioning before I can actually do my pros and cons of staying at Pond de Val. Is it recording? So the last part of my travels to Pont de Val, which is something that I'm going to be doing in every segment of the travel videos, is to give you guys the pros and cons of the place which I'm going to be visiting and or staying at. So Pont de Val has a lot of pros guys, like I probably think I have one con. I think they have really mastered the art of creating a beautiful ambience for people that are going to be staying here whether you're coming in as a hotel guest or you're coming in as an apartment guest and or if you want to be a day visitor which they also allow i know that they require you to pay only 50 rands at the gate when you come in which i think is a small fee for all the amenities that you get to um, get to enjoy here at Pondeval. 
So the pros are, first of all, they produce their own wines. So if you're a wine person, great for you. You're going to be able to enjoy their wine tasting and also take a souvenir home like I did. <laughs> the second prawn is the fact that even though we were booked into the apartments instead of the hotel itself, we still got room service, which basically means we were able to have someone come into our room and clean it for us every single day of our stay here, wash dishes, etc. Because the apartment does kind of come as a self-catering, which I really appreciated, you know. Um, the other prawn is the fact that obviously it's an absolutely gorgeous place. Like every building, everything you touch just screams luxury and beauty and romance. It's definitely a place I would recommend. The next prawn is the fact that they obviously have a spa on location, which was absolutely amazing. Oh, guys, I've not had a spa treatment like that in a while. And I actually go to a lot of spas. <laughs> For me to say that, it means they must have really blown my mind away. Um, the other prawn is the fact that if you decide to come here as a group of, say, maybe up to 12... I know that it's max 12 so if you decide to come here maybe for a celebration like a party or a baby shower or i don't know just for you guys as a family to come in reunion here if you're a party of 12 this is definitely one of the best places that you can come to another problem is the fact that they provide boat cruises again for groups up to 12 which is also a nice feature to have like you can literally book yourself in here like we did from thursday to sunday and literally have no reason to go out anywhere else because there's just so many things to do here at pont de Val. so those are the many prawns about it and what else the food here is actually very good uh whether you go to this restaurant that we actually used for the breakfast i think it's called grand la manche le grand la marche yeah le grand la marche that's the name of the restaurant which is on the side of the winery and picnic area and then also the restaurant that is at the hotel itself is actually very good we really enjoyed the dinner that we had there on thursday on arrival and the ambience itself was really nice and the fact that they do provide heating inside of the rooms because during winter time it does get a bit uncomfortable to be out at night but i do think that they really made an effort to make sure that you don't necessarily feel like that so yeah, there's lots of prompts to coming here. It's definitely a place I'd recommend. I did say that I was giving it an 8 out of 10 because there's only one con. I do wish that their lunch menu at the hotel restaurant was actually a bit different to the dinner menu because it almost feels like if you come for dinner the night before, then the next thing, the following day you want to have lunch is the same menu. I think that's the only thing that I would say was a con for me. And yeah, basically everything else is just perfect so you guys should definitely make the trip down to Pont de Val. it's only an hour away from Joburg and it will be definitely worth your money and with regards to money I think together we spent I'm not even sure but it was like 6.5 accommodation and then the wine is about 265 for the one that we went for and we've basically had three bottles of wine since we were here so that's about 369 um, and then we had the, the picnic, the easy picnic, which was 240 for both of us, including a setup of the throw, a blanket and cushions, as well as a small side table. And yeah, we basically spent less than 10,000 rand to be able to create a romantic getaway for me and my man. And I think that's definitely something that you should consider if you want to do that for yourself. Whether it's a romantic getaway, you're celebrating an anniversary, you want to honeymoon here. If you're people who feel like, you know what, you don't have the international budget, don't let life pressure you. Come to Pont de Val and I absolutely assure you, you will not regret it. Otherwise, I've come to the end of the video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed all the content that is here. And I'm going to see you on the next I don't know what the name of the channel is called, but the next travel vlog, so cheers.